everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and I have another project in my holiday series and this one is my Nordic Hershey bar holder. So this holds the extra large Hershey bar which is like that and this is the project I'm sharing today so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of seven and three quarters by eight and a half. This is um, soft sky that I'm using, the cardstock. And then the, another piece you're going to need is nine and a half by four and a half. And this is also soft sky. And I'm using the um, Nordic Noel designer series paper and the matting is this is the front and this piece is seven and a half by three and three quarters and then you'll need another piece that is seven and three eighths by three and a quarter and then we are going to use this piece and this is seven and a half by three and I'm going to show you this paper because it comes like this and all I did was cut one row off and then I just measured it at seven and a half inches long so you can make four of these with just one sheet and look how pretty the other side is this paper is so so cute but I'm just gonna show you a little bit if I can get it open here but you can see it's such pretty pretty paper and it's double, it's uh, two-sided, double-sided, so so pretty. And this one's got packages. It's so cute. Anyway, this is the uh, designer series paper that I'm using for this project. So let's go ahead and get the trimmer out, and we are going to score our first piece, which will be the outside piece. And let me see. This is the eight and a half inch side. You're going to score this piece at four inches and at four and a half. And then let's just go ahead and score our other pieces also. So this is the inside piece. And on this inside piece, you are going to score at one half and then at one. And then you're going to turn it around and you're going to score it at one half and at one. And you're going to do this on three sides. So this is one half also and one. All right. So let's go ahead and form the bottom part. Grab my bone folder here. And we want to sharpen these score marks and I just go ahead and do them all before I cut the pieces this way I don't forget to do them all okay so what we'll do is we are going to cut this second score mark we're going to cut across here and then we are going to cut down and we're actually cutting like an L shape out here and it's a backwards L so it's gonna look like that so it's kinda like a step and then we're, we are gonna cut into this one up to that score mark that second score mark and we're gonna do the exact same thing we'll cut here across and then up and then we're going to cut into that one so it's going to look like that you're going to have two little flaps and that so what I'll do first is I'm going to grab some glue dots and put one on this little flap here and then one on the other side
and then we are going to fold that in and bring that one up so this is forming that inside part and then we'll just push this side down and I'm going to take another one and I'm going to put it on the inside here and then another one on the inside here and that's just going to hold this together so we can put our sticky strip on and this is a pretty you know the bar is pretty heavy so you want to be sure again to use your sticky strip I'm going to go ahead and put some sticky strip on here and put it right to the edge and I'll run another piece down this side so we have all our sticky strip on make sure it's all on there firmly and let's bring in our other piece and sharpen our score marks here and on the other one I rounded the corners so I'm gonna take my corner rounder and round the corners now we're ready to attach this to the inside so let's remove our sticky strip backing see how easy it comes off if you pull it from the middle and then let's go ahead and center this here can't look over it so it's harder for me to see if I have it centered so then go inside and make sure it is down firmly okay so let's go ahead while we have it open and mat our bottom piece let's see which one is it this piece and grab some snail And that side pretty too. I just love it. It's so pretty this paper. It's not exactly your traditional colors but I think that's what I like. Although I am a very traditional Christmas person. <laughs> so we'll put that on and then I'm going to take the half inch hole punch. Sorry for my hand I put it. And then just cut a half circle. Just center it and cut a half circle there. It makes it easier for you to pull the bar out. And of course I forgot to stamp my sentiment so it's going to mess it up but I'll go ahead and do it a little bit different. Okay let's so go ahead and stamp our sentiment on the front and I'm going to use this time um, chocolate chip because I wasn't really pleased with um, the red it didn't show up good enough so you just want to stamp it in the top corner here and I hope I don't get my head in the way I'm trying to get it straight so there it is and that is from the Petite Pears stamp set the Merry Christmas right here and then let's go ahead and round the corners the bottom corners of this and we're ready to get some snail and attach this piece like so and then we're ready to put the houses on and I'm going to round the corners again on the bottom of that so it all fits together and this is makes it really quick I thought about cutting the houses out and I thought oh that would take some time and 
it looked really cute like this so isn't that cute I love these little houses and the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to grab some of my ribbon and this is our real red ribbon and it's actually the quarter inch cotton ribbon it's so nice y'all I really this is the first time I'm using this ribbon and I really really love it it's really pretty and I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm just tying a knot in it so let me cut it just enough that I can tie a knot And usually I will stick a um, glue dot under here I'll do it after I tie it okay so we have our knot these ribbon scissors are, scissors are great y'all if you need some really good um, ribbon scissors. I don't let anybody use these for anything other than <laughs> the ribbon. So I'm going to grab another glue dot because I need to um, hold that down. I want it to stay in place. So I usually just take one glue dot. And I will stick it right here underneath. So see it holds it really nice in place. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to change the inside a little bit because I didn't stamp the sentiment on here. If you want to stamp the sentiment on here, be sure to do it before. And I thought it looked cute stamped right on here, but I'm going to just go ahead and grab a piece of Whisper White and I'm going to just stamp my sentiment on there. And let's see, should I do it in, I think I'm going to go ahead and do, I did it in the red. I'm going to go ahead and do it in the chocolate chip since I did it the front one on, with chocolate chip. And this one is from the Mingle All the Way stamp set. You know I love that stamp set because I've used it quite a few times. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love this stamp set so much it has to be like one of my favorite I'm going to show you this is it right here and I've used that I use the spooky and look how cute Thanksgiving I love this stamp set so let me go ahead and trim this down You can tell me, let me know what you like better, whether I put it in like this or the other way. And I also forgot my little Nordic button. How can I forget that? These buttons are so cute. Look at those. And this time I'm going to use the red one because I'm dying to use that red one. And I'll grab another glue dot and I'll attach it with a glue dot. And I ran some cherry cobbler baker's twine in the inside and I just knotted it and put it through there and then this button is so cute. And then the last but not least is we're going to use our dazzling details. Um, this is Silver Sparkle and just use some little dots and just add it randomly. It does really add quite a bit to it. It's really cute when it when it dries. It just like looks like little sparkly snow.
Okay, so that is it everyone. Here's the other one that I made. And um, it fits that oh, extra large. It has to be um, Hershey's bar. And all the stores have them. So your grocery stores or even the dollar store has them. So that's it. And here's with the um, chocolate chip. And that's with the red. You can do whatever you like. But, um, and here's the difference in the inside. So leave me a comment and let me know which way you liked it better. Anyway, that's it. If you need any supplies for this project, you can go to my blog at stampinwithamore.com and you can order right from my shop there. I hope you all have a blessed week. I will see you later. Bye.